Hello everybody, this is Fernando for the latest Silent Hill podcast. Alright, let's talk about the next monster encountered within the Silent Hill video game. And this one is a big one. This is by far one of the biggest known staples within the entire Silent Hill franchise. And it was fascinating to see the debut of this monster within the first game to see how its first iteration is like and then know afterward of course that it'll have a much different version throughout the rest of the games so it's quite fascinating to see that the first Silent Hill nurse was completely different than the way we know her today and in fact so much so that the Silent Hill nurse is known uh, not known in the first game not really as like the bubble nurse or any of the other common names but instead is known as the puppet nurse and you'll see a picture of it here and the reason why it's called a puppet nurse is because and this is the only instance uh, within the first game that the nurses ever have this they apparently have some form of parasite on their back that I'll talk about in another video and further detail but that's why they're called the puppet nurse because this parasite is essentially treating them like a puppet now as far as the nurse itself, again this is the very first encounter of the popular um, monster. Probably the only other monster that's even more popular than the nurse is within the Silent Hill game is Red, uh, the Red Pyramid, which of course I'll talk about once I'm working on the Silent Hill 2 video game. But yeah, definitely the nurse is very, very popular. I mean this is a, a monster that has spanned all forms of of mediums from the video games to the comic books to the films themselves to anything else merchandise I mean they stand out as being by far one of the most popular and well-known monsters within the franchise and it's kinda easy to guess why because later on within different versions of the future games you know Silent Hill 2, 3 and so forth they take on a much more sexier look we're talking like the short mini skirt, the nurse's outfit, lots of leg, uh, lots of cleavage. So it's quite easy to see why, of course, they became far more popular later on. But seeing this in the first game, they look completely different. So let's talk about the puppet nurse itself within the first game. They're found in the Al Camila Hospital, and they seem to be actually some of the most easiest monsters to defeat. Uh, the dude I was watching do his playthrough once he encountered these puppet nurses all it would take is just a couple of swipes either with the pipe itself or in this case by this point he had like a one of those um, axes of sorts um, he was able to use that and pretty easily take out the puppet nurse um, the only thing is the nurse has is just a knife but it's really easy to just walk away from the puppet nurse while uh, she tries to essentially stalk the player she'll swipe and she'll go through the predictable swipes so if you can make a rhythm out of it and just avoid those swipes during those um, rhythmic moves and then just attack her then that's it the difficulty though comes whenever these puppet nurses start to work in pairs and there were several times when the guy was doing his playthrough that he came across two or three of them all at once and the reason why it was much more difficult is because they do indeed work in tandem one of them will approach the player and hold on to the player much like the gray child would where they hold on to the player and prevent them from doing anything while the other puppet nurse would use the knife and when they do actually strike um, it does create some damage uh, th th this guy uh, I think it was like two or three times that he was hit with a knife and by that point he was turning into a critical mode his character was so all it takes is a few swipes from these puppet nurses and then that's it they're done as far as how the puppet nurses look like again far different than what we know of later on in the other games but in this game they look like a more traditional nurse like something from um, I don't know 1950s 1960s uh, far more conservative dress um, we're looking at the length of their skirt reaches to their knees they're wearing a shirt normal looking shirt but made for work they have a cardigan on top as well um, they even have the traditional uh, nurses hat on top it looks like these nurses um, just came out from a different era you know a very conservative town someplace where you have to dress uh, 
uh, simple and elegant, uh, something professional, in other words, for their profession. So to see this in comparison to what they would later wear, it's it's way different. Um, so it was interesting to see this from the very first game. And then as far as, again, the uh, difficulty of these nurses, it's just working in tandem with their rhythms. I mean, they'll swipe at you, you move away, uh, they'll swipe again, hit them, and then that's it. Um, the symbolism and what they represent, it seems to be that they are the actual nurses that worked on either Alessa or worked in the hospital that Alessa was in after she was uh, immolated. So they seem to be in some cases the nurses themselves that worked on Alessa to try to keep her alive and others just seem to be poor souls that happened to be in the wrong place at the wrong time. They ended up getting sucked into the world of Silent Hill and the revenge that Alessa had just simply for the fact that they were working there in that hospital. Um, they make an interesting moan by the way. Um, it seems like it's very reminiscent of the Grey Child where it seems like it's like a sorrowful moan. Maybe it's a little tragic moan where they're trying to get out of the situation they're in. They can't really control what they're doing which leads to the parasite that's on the back of their body. Uh, this is again the only known instance within the entire Silent Hill franchise where the nurses um, are doing this out of their own control and the reason for this is because there's something on their back all it is is just a parasite of some sort it wiggles it moves it throbs it looks like it's some kind of blob of some sort and basically it seems to be the control for them and so what happens is when you kill one of these uh, puppet nurses they'll either a switch around um, as violently as possible. It seems to be also a precursor of how the nurses will move in future iterations of the games where they do their classic head throbbing thing. But um, if you step on them or if you do one more swipe then that's it. And then more importantly the parasite on their back of their uh, body also stops twitching altogether. So yeah, they're supposed to represent the fear uh, that Alessa had from these nurses. Here that here she was in a vulnerable state and then here were these nurses that could have done something and could have done something to, I guess, prevent anything from like this happening to Alessa or later on making sure that um, Alessa um, could be put out for Mizzy, but no. They were doing this still, just just working alongside the cult or whatever that order was, and keeping her alive. And so because of that, they made uh, she made them essentially the revenge by controlling them afterward with these parasites. But yeah, that's how they look like. Far, far different, no, than from anything as far as future versions of the nurses that you and I uh, both love in, in the other sequels. Um, as far as other times that the nurses from the first Silent Hill game have appeared, they did appear in that play novel, which you'll see pictures of here, um, very similar to what their first appearance was, hunched over, parasite clearly seen on the back, um, and then they appeared one more time in the Silent Hill mobile game, which you'll see a picture of here, and you'll um, it, it's again very similar to what the first Silent Hill game had as far as their look and as far as their movements but then that's it they haven't appeared in anything else per se like um, uh, obviously the nurses have appeared in many many many, many other in in circumstances but nothing like the way they looked within this first game so fascinating stuff what do you guys think the puppet nurse relatively easy monster to beat um, for such a big staple within the Silent Hill franchise. I was surprised at how easy it seems to, to be able to take them on. It's even easier if you have a handgun where you just blow them away from from far away, uh, but obviously to save bullets that's not a good idea. But as far as just using regular melee weapons, pretty easy to do so unless you run into them in pairs. Uh, Puppet Nurse, what do you guys think? This is the first instance again where you have a major staple within the Silent Hill franchise make its debut. And so it was fascinating to see how they look like today. So, Alright everybody, thanks again as always. Take care.